I'm going to start with a 40 blade. Hi, buddy. Hi. And I'm going to this area. Get a good groomer's hold. I'm going to scoop this area right here. Poor oh, baby. That's such a good baby. Oh, yes. And then, go to the ears. And the hair inside the ear doesn't really hurt when you pull it, but the little hair that's on the outside of the ear does. So you need to be careful. I'm put a little bit of Jerk. ear powder in there. Easy, darling, I know. Hold on. The importance of this is so the air can flow down in the ear and it doesn't get infections. This is the pad of the foot, and there's a lot of hair growth there. And so what we're going to do, kind of a scooping action. You want to kind of duck down in there because there's hair that's stuck down in there. So there's a mat right there. That's a good baby. Now we're going to do the nails. And on these you can see right to the pink is where you can cut. Check for a dew claw, and there is one. Yeah. Hold on. Easy, darling. Next step is you use a tin blade, and we're going to do his little private areas. So, for the dog's benefit and future benefit, I'm going to go above it so when he potties, it doesn't go in the fur and make a mat like that. Oh, <laughs> 
Go. Okay, since we've got this mat on here, I'm gonna kind of hold it down so that I can actually get it cleaned up good. Next step is the bottom. I'm gonna use the tin blade again. And some people just make a big baboon butt, but we're not gonna do that. We're just gonna take and clean up this area with little strokes. Now he's got a nice clean bottom. We'll get that out when we shave him. And then the next step, because this dog is really matted, we're going to have to pre-shave him. And I'm going to use a seven blade. <laughs> I like to start about here. <laughs> and as you see, I'm not getting through the mats very well. So, I do not recommend this for everyone. But for me as a uh, professional groomer, I'm going to change out and use what they call a skip tooth blade. It is a little dangerous. You can touch your dog with it, so you do have to be very careful. Come back around here, baby. See how that's getting more through it? Because he's so mad and I still have to work with it. <laughs> As you can see, I'm kind of putting my hand underneath it. That way it comes to me instead of his skin. Now normally I do the whole leg at this point, but because I'm using this blade, those are delicate areas that I could cut. So I'm gonna go back up here. And there are a lot of groomers that would just say it's too matted and shaving down to the skin. I prefer not to do that unless I absolutely have to. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a little bit of extra and doing it this way. Give me a shake. Okay, now I've switched to a seven blade. And I'm going to go back and try to get the areas that I couldn't get with the really sharp blade because it might cut them. <clears throat> now I'm going to come back through and I'm going to go back down the inside of the leg.
Okay, now we're going to switch to a tin blade, and I'm going to do under the arms. And the key thing to doing under the arms. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> not you. Is you do not want to just go up like this. You want to come out like this because you have less chance of cutting the skin. And this skin right here tears really easy. And so it's pretty matted. Before we put him in the bath, I'm gonna try to save his ears. I don't know that I can. So what I'm gonna do is I have some detangler here. And I'm gonna kinda of work that in. Brush a little bit. My goal is I'm hoping to get enough hair off the top that when I do have to cut the mat out, there'll be a little bit of hair to cover the spot. And you have to be careful because you can um, irritate their skin with a brush. I oh, know. Okay, it's time for the bath. We are getting ready for the bath, and the first thing we're going to do is the anal glands. And I'm going to move her this way. And what you want to do is put your fingers on each side of her bottom. And there should be a couple of little pouches that are full of poo. And when you squeeze, they come out. And that's about all she's got in her. Oops, I lied. <laughs> and then you very quickly wash your hands. And the dog's fine. Okay, Zipper has been bathed and dried, and now we're just going to smooth him out with a, a finishing haircut. And I have my seven blade on. One of the things you can do to make it look really smooth is you back brush it. And then go over it again. See how much more hair I'm getting off from the uneven spot. So we'll continue to do this pretty much all over his body. Now I usually start at the back and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a section and just trim it up and make sure it's all good to go and round the feet. And round the feet, I make a little cut across there. And you comb them out. You're all right, sweetheart. Then I set them down and just cut around them. 
You're all right, sweetheart. Then I brush them up. And I trim over them. Hey, hey, hey. Give me just a minute. We're almost done. There's always a poof of hair on the elbow here, so I kind of come behind it and trim it a little extra, and then in front of it, and then on this pad there's always a little It's okay. I just made that straight line I was talking about. And there's the dew claw right there. So I've got to cut around that. Okay, we're going to do a teddy bear head on this guy, and I'm going to try my three blade to see if it'll leave it just long enough. <laughs> and what we're going to do is we're going to kind of pull all the hair forward. Hey, zipper. Snuck it in there. Easy does it, zipper. Easy does it. There we go. Good baby. Good baby. Oh, that's a good baby. Okay, then we take and we're going to comb all this forward. Zipper. Come on. Would you like to see again? Can we get that hair out of your eyes? Yeah, it's okay. Psh, 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 psh. Look, you got to look at me. Easy. That's a good baby. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Come on. Zipper. Zipper. Easy does it. That's a good baby. I'm just kind of rounding a visor in front of the eyes. Easy. Easy does it. Baby. If you let the dog's head shake a little bit, you'll get the hair to fall the way it'll normally be when he's just being himself. Good baby. And then I go to the sides. And this poor baby's got a big mat right here. Zipper. Come on. Come on. And I'm just going to cut it out in order to um, 
keep it from showing up and being so obvious, I'm going to use thinning shears. Easy. Hold on. Almost got it, not quite. Hold on, zipper. pretty boy. Easy. Look, it's gone. Okay, now we're going to do the teddy bear head. And I've kind of been brushing and combing and getting most of the mats out of the face. I'm going to lift the ears up like this. And then I'm going to lightly comb out. It's okay if there's mats in it because, okay. I'm really fixing to cut most of it off. And I'm going to go kind of in a circle. Hang on, sweetie. I know. Hey, zipper. Just pull on the fur for no reason. So I can cut this out because it's not going to show. There we go. Brush it out like this. Hey, zipper. I'm going to start here and curve down the zipper. Come on. And come up. Easy, easy zipper. Easy. And I'm going to try to do the same length on the other side. And you kind of look at the sides like that. Easy zipper. Okay, okay. Hold on, hold on. Zipper. Good baby. Yeah, that's a good baby. Now see I have some hair down here at the bottom that was part of that leftover and it's matted and it's underneath the head so I'm just going to trim it off. Easy baby. Hold on, hold on. You got to do both sides. Can you see it? There's apparently a big mat right there. part. Yeah, this is the easy part, sweetheart. 
ね Now I am going to comb it. Easy. I want to make sure I got all the snaps out. Easy. Easy. And sometimes dogs move. And from the front, you get kind of more balanced look. <laughs> Easy baby. You're looking so pretty. Or I say, good looking. Okay. I've got to get the bottom even. Zipper. 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 Easy. Oh baby, that's a good baby. That's what I wanted. That's such a good baby. Yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry. Did I surprise you? Look right here. Yeah, I gotta get some of that right there. I want to take too much. I'm going to comb down again. And I'm just going to kind of blend it even out. Good baby. Now we have matted ears. <laughs> Hold on. This is a very severe mat here. <clears throat> the only safe thing to do is to use a tin blade and take it out. Gentle. I'm being gentle. Come back. You're okay. You're okay. We can salvage the salvage of the speed.
Hold on, baby. I'm using my thinning shears. It may not work. But the idea is to possibly leave a little bit of fur. Come here, baby. Come here. Hold on, hold on, one more big mat. Go. Okay, by what I've done, the ear still has some really thin areas, but she still has an ear and it doesn't have to be shaved. So I'm just gonna lightly kind of trim it up at the bottom. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of trim up here so that it lays smooth. And voila. Okay. Okay, on the tail, zipper's tail, it is just a solid mat. It's wrapped tight around his tail. There's not really a good way to get through it. So we're gonna make him a little bit of a different type of tail. It's all right, Zipper. We're gonna actually kind of shave. And I'm trying to be careful and just shave for the mat let's loose because it's not matted at the end of the tail. Still some matting here, but most of this will just come out. If not, then I'll take it a little bit shorter. I think we'll go down a little bit further. And you just try to keep it the same length all the way around. This is Zipper, and he's all groomed now. And as you can tell, he was not a pre-programmed sweet little dog to groom, but he is a sweet little dog. Just doesn't like grooming. So, uh, if you don't want to groom your dog yourself, give me a call at Southpaws. That's 340-1101. Thanks. Have a great day.